We have rain spreading from west to east across the area with the heavier rain showing up in the yellow and orange colors on radar. The heavier rain mostly over western parts of the UP, including parts of Ontonagon County stretching through portions of southern Houghton and Berga counties down towards Iron and Dickinson counties. That's where we're seeing those pockets of yellow and orange indicating those heavier rainfall rates and the heavier rain will spread to the east over the next couple of hours. Temperatures have become much colder. 58 degrees in Houghton, 52 at Sawyer Airport, 67 in Iron Mountain. That's the warmest number on the map. 63 degrees in Escanaba. And compared to yesterday, most of us are running 20 to 30 degrees colder. 24 degrees colder in Houghton, 23 degrees colder in Iron River, 32 degrees colder at Sawyer Airport compared to the temperatures we had 24 hours ago with brisk winds coming out of the north providing that colder air. Our storm system extends back across Minnesota and down through portions of South Dakota and Nebraska. With the rainfall still off to our west, it's still going to be several more hours of wet weather through tonight into early tomorrow for some places, and then we'll have drier conditions out of the northwest developing late tomorrow and certain brighter for Thursday. For tonight, temperatures near 53 degrees in Houghton, 52 in Escanaba, dropping off to 48 degrees around Sawyer Airport, 51 in Big Bay with rain throughout most of the UP overnight. For tomorrow, we'll still hang on to a chance of showers, particularly for southern and eastern parts of the UP, likely a dry day for the western side of the UP. Highs near 66 degrees in Houghton, 64 degrees in Iron Mountain, 63 in Munising, about 60 degrees in Gwynn, and 57 for Marquette. So the temperatures are going to remain cold tomorrow with a light breeze coming out of the northeast. Futurecast shows us that potential for some heavier rain across central and southern portions of the UP in the yellow and orange colors. That will gradually progress off towards the east. Still a few showers possible early Wednesday and becoming increasingly drier as the day goes on. And we'll find even some breaks in the clouds developing Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. And then mainly clear skies will set up over the UP for Thursday. Temperatures for tomorrow only reaching the lower 60s for many areas. We'll have highs in the upper 60s to almost 70 on Thursday. That's still a few degrees below normal. Then temperatures look to get warmer Friday and heading into the weekend. For tomorrow, maybe a chance of showers early, clearing skies taking over, midday temperatures in the upper 50s, highs near 61 degrees. Thursday morning starting off in the 40s and 50s. By midday, rising to the 60s, highs around 69 degrees. We are going to see plenty of sunshine for Thursday, so you're going to need the sunscreen and evening temperatures near 60. Friday morning in the 40s and 50s, a few clouds, midday temperatures rising to the 60s, highs heading up to 74 degrees. Saturday morning starting off in the 50s, by midday near 70. We'll have afternoon highs getting up to 76 degrees, and we're looking at dry conditions throughout the weekend. On Sunday, more Morning temperatures in the 50s and 60s by lunchtime heading into the lower 70s. Highs almost near 80 degrees for Sunday afternoon and evening temperatures near 70.